everybody, Ryan Shrout from Intel here with you for another quick update. Uh, today we're gonna talk about a few things. We're gonna talk about VRR, HDR, and HDMI, a bunch of letter soup and acronyms that are very important to, to gamers. First up, I wanna talk about VRR or variable refresh rate or Visa Adaptive Sync that's part of the DisplayPort standard. Variable refresh rate is a technology that allows the monitor's refresh rate and the GPU's render rate to be in sync. And that means you can avoid a lot of distracting artifacts like visual tearing or stutters uh, when those two engines are kind of running at the same time. Uh, when you have full V-Sync on or off, you run the risk of all those other defects that we were, were talking about, right? So behind me, running on an Intel Arc A750, we have an Acer 4K 120 Hertz variable refresh display. And you can see here, we've got uh, the Death Stranding Director's Cut title playing, uh, and we are running it around, well, if I look around here, 90 to 100 to 80 frames per second, depending on where you're looking, right? But the important thing is on this monitor, it has a tool to display the refresh rate of the monitor. So not only can we see the render rate of the GPU in the top left corner here at about 95 frames per second, we can see that the refresh rate of the display is matching it, oscillating back and forth between 95 and 96 frames per second. The, uh, this is, ensures a, a great experience for the gamer as they're playing their games um, and uh, shows that Arc is, is fully supporting the DisplayPort VRR standards. Now also worth noting is that while Intel Arc should support any and all Visa Adaptive Sync uh, rated displays, we're going the extra mile here, we're validating a bunch of displays, we're gonna test more than 100 of the top VRR capable monitors to ensure that gamers have the ability to get up and running day one when they get their Intel Arc graphics card. Now another technology that gamers are really excited about is HDR. In short, HDR basically means more colors and more contrast while you're gaming. Most modern games today support HDR as long as you have a monitor and a graphics card that's supported as well. Here we've got uh, this new Alienware HDR QD, QD OLED screen, it's fantastic. Uh, we've got uh, uh, the director's cut of Death Stranding back up here for you. Now what's great about this is that it, it, it looks fantastic, but the problem with any display technology, obviously, is that showing you at home what that looks like and the effect it can have on your gaming is really tough. We've got a camera that's capturing it, it's being compressed, we're streaming it to whatever monitor you have, uh, but luckily, here at Intel, we're, you know, spare no expense. We've got terrific testing capabilities. We have a, a very accurate, highly reliable external testing device that we can bring in to show you that HDR is uh, working appropriately. Hey, uh, hey, hey, Ken, can you bring over the HDR testing device? Thanks. Hi. Hi, let's, uh, let's take a look at this HDR real fast. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, it's obviously in HDR mode, first of all, because at the end of the hallway, that's like super bright. I don't know how that's going to translate on the camera, unfortunately, but that's why that's why we have you here, yeah, HDR tester. There. I mean, look at how bright that stuff is. It, yeah. It's it, even that's just standing, cool. looking at the screen. Right. Uh, it's it's impressive. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, hey, thanks very much. I appreciate it. Now, another question we've gotten from the community recently is about HDMI and what kind of HDMI, what level of HDMI support does Intel Arc have? In both the notebook and desktop space, the, the Intel Arc GPU itself supports HDMI 2.0 uh, out, out of the box, right? So, but customers in both the notebook and desktop space have the option to add an extra chip, a pecan, onto their notebook or add-in card uh, that will basically do a DisplayPort 1.4 to HDMI 2.1 conversion. So you'll get all the capabilities and uh, features of HDMI 2.1 if you need it. Now that's optional, so it's gonna be up to the customer to implement, but as an example, our Intel branded A750 and A770 limited edition graphics cards do integrate that and thus will fully support HDMI 2.1. Thanks everybody for joining us. I uh, hope you learned something and uh, we'll see you soon as we keep rolling out Intel Art Graphics.